Hey guys, how's it going? It's Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Today I just wanted to make a quick video sharing with you guys the progress on the InstaFilm script. I know I've been getting a lot of comments, questions, and feedback on the Facebook page, on Twitter, on the Creative Dojo. You guys are all asking for it. And so I thought, you know, after much demand, I'll go ahead and release what I have right now. So if you guys aren't familiar, InstaFilm is a script that I made previously, you know, a few months back. It's a simple uh, run file script. So, you know, go to file script, run script file. And you would run one of these three InstaFilm scripts. And there wasn't a GUI, so it just created the layers, the letterboxing layer and the grain layer instantly without, you know, really having any control. And at this point in time, I was studying more on JavaScript and studying uh, Adobe's extended script toolkit and just kind of learning how After Effects works and how to script for After Effects. And although I'm not that great right now, I kind of created a basic user interface for the script, which you can download absolutely free at the creativedojo.net. The link will be down below in the video description. So now instead of going to the file and script and run script, we can actually open it via the uh, script UI panels. So we can go to window and install the, uh, or open the InstaFilm script here. And once you open it, you get this really nice, uh, simple panel, this kind of a uh, panel here that you can dock anywhere you want. So I can dock on the side here. I can dock it pretty much anywhere I wish. So I'm just going to, you know, dock it over here or something so you can see. It's just like another After Effects panel. Or we can undock the panel and just have it as a floating window here. So what it basically does is it's very simple actually and it's really uh, catered towards what I need it but you guys have been, have been asking for it so here it is into film script version one and essentially you select your composition for example this is a 720p comp so if I select the 720p letterbox it's going to create a nice even letterbox it's perfectly uh, even and um, stuff like that. So it's very uniform. So if you want to create multiple letter boxings for multiple compositions, you don't have to redraw it or copy and paste the layers over and over again. So this is a very handy tool and I find myself using a lot of letter boxing quite a bit. And this is just kind of to save me time from drawing it over and over again on different projects. Now also another thing that I do quite often is apply a color correction adjustment layer. And I find myself applying the same effects over and over again. So if I go ahead and click on the CC button here, it's going to create a new adjustment layer called CC. And if I hop into the effects controls, you can see that I have magic bullet looks loaded. I have curves, levels, and tint effect here. And these four effects are the most common effects I use when I color correct and do color grading, uh, for the most part anyways. So I use looks to establish the main overall kind of theme, the look, the, the kind of the tone of my color correction or color grade. And then I would fine tune the colors with the curves effect. I would change, the, you know, the, the brightness and darkness, essentially the, the RGB values with the levels here. And of course, you know, when you do that, it kind of gets kind of saturated and stuff like that. So I use the tint effect to kind of desaturate it. And, you know, these are just some of the comments effects that I use and I find myself using them a lot. So the CC effect or button here on the InstaFilm script really helps me, uh, you know, just dive into the creative process faster. Now, lastly, when you're working a lot with motion graphics, 3D renders, as well as a lot of gradient stuff, especially in motion graphics, you get a problem of color banding. So, for example, here, when you have a nice big flare and some dark areas around it, some glows, anything with a lot of gradients and different kind of colors. Um, it really helps to add a grain effect to kind of uh, break up those bandings, those color bandings. Now, one thing you can do is actually change your project from 8 bits to 16 bits per channel. That will give you more color in your project to kind of reduce those bandings. But adding a grain effect really helps the bandings as well as make your, your 3D renders look a little bit more organic, especially if you're trying to incorporate it into a shot or something like that. So applying the grain effect, very, very handy to kind of just give your stuff a more organic feel to it as well as reduce those gradient bandings. So this is a fairly simple script and it was, um, you know, pretty easy to create in a way. Um, but something to keep in mind is that this script wasn't really built for the public at all. It was actually built for myself and for my own needs. So if you don't really find the script really useful or helpful or anything like that, well, keep in mind that it wasn't really built to cater your needs. It was built for my needs. So it might not be handy for you guys, but um, it was definitely handy for me. And a lot of you guys on Facebook have been uh, giving me great feedback on the beta versions and stuff like that. So here's the public release. If you guys want to download it, link below. And to install the script, you have to go to your After Effects directory. So in the Mac platform, it would be under application. If you're on Windows, it's in the program file. So hop into your After Effects version folder, uh, go to the scripts folder and then go to the script UI panels folder. And here you can just drag the InstaFilm script 
uh, file into the script UI panels folder and then restart After Effects. And it should be available under Windows Instafilm script here. So very cool. It's absolutely free to download. Check it out. If you guys have any uh, feature comments or anything like that, you know, just leave them down below. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's free. Have fun with it. Hopefully it'll save you some time. Once again, my name is Vincent Wynn from the creative dojo.net. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.